built a whole damn classroom for this video. And I think it looks pretty decent. And look at that projector over there. Look at that. It took me ages to figure out how to do that. Yeah, anyway. Um, today I'm going to be showing you the different ways to make knock gates. Now, knock gates are extremely important in electronics because they allow us to take an input of a logic input of one and turn it into a logic input of zero. So if we just look at the truth table here, so we've got input A and output Y, zero, one. So if we have an input of zero, it becomes a one and yeah, you get the idea. Unfortunately, in Rust, there are not any, uh, pun intended, there are not any not gates and there isn't even any NAND gates or NOR gates, so there's no way we can make a NOT gate without a little bit of extra stuff. So the two ways I'm going to show you, so number one is with a blocker, and number two is with an XOR. Now, both have an equal chance of being found, but at least you have two different ways to go it, depending on what stuff you have. So the XOR one I was I just thought about today actually. Um I was thinking about it while I was at work. I was thinking how can I I've never found a blocker before and I, I think how can I use an XOR put it to good use because other other than this they're basically useless or I haven't found a use for them yet. But with an XOR gate what we can do is uh the, see the, the truth table for an XOR gate, sorry that's wrong thing, uh, the truth table for an XOR gate looks something a little like this, so we have A, oops, someone raiding, raid testing, and then we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So an exclusive R which is what its full name is. Uh, so that means that this becomes a zero, this becomes a zero, and this little block is the exclusive bit. So they become one and one. Now, if A over here is a constant one, so we'll just put a little one up there, and then this can be changed, so we'll just put a delta. Um, so if this is constantly 1, so if we just circle this, then the outputs we can get if B, if we want B to be, which will be our switch, what we want to control, if B is a 1, we get an output of 0. And if B is a 0, we get an output of 1. Now with the blocker, it's probably quite self-explanatory. Uh, I used to do this in Redstone in Minecraft, so if we just head down the corridor here, head to the electronics room, um, you can see here we've got all our things set up. This is just going to be our thing so I can show you what it's like. I just need to turn my hood on. Uh, turn it off. Um, this is going to be where I show you what to do. So for the blocker one, all we need is a blocker and a switch. And if we just wire up the switch. Now this is good because it doesn't it only requires one switch whereas the other one requires two. Unless actually no, no it doesn't. Scrap that. Uh I've literally just thought of something else. But anyway, what we do here is we take this one, we put it in the blocker input, and then this one goes to the power in. Power out goes round to the door. And we pair that there. And look, that's open while the switch is off, because it's red. As soon as we turn the switch on, it closes. Okay, so the next one is the XOR switch. So what we're going to need for this is an XOR gate and our switch. What we do is we take the power out, which goes into there. And then another power out, which goes into input A. Now, what I was originally going to do is use this other switch and wire this up to input A, but I realised... That these actually count as logic which I I didn't think about so that's good um, if we just wire this on here into input B take this up 
and there we go. Same thing, just using two different devices, using probably the same amount of wire. Everything else is the same, apart from, well, this. Okay, so thank you for watching this short video. Uh, this has been me explaining the two different knock gates you can use in Rust. In uh, It's very good, actually. I'm very enjoying it uh, in the electronic system. So, yeah, that'll, that's going to be a, about it. Uh, I'm going to be making a simple, more simple trap base soon. Uh, someone requested on Reddit that I made a simpler flame trap base. So I'm going to do that for them. And uh, that'll be the next time I see you. All right, have a good one.